You are now watching a clip from the Inspired by Show. You can watch the full episode on our YouTube channel or listen on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. So make sure to head over there, leave us a five star rating if you enjoyed it, and follow the show. You know, I've seen people get there, they get on TV, they get on all these incredible platforms, and then they forget where they came from and they become something else. Yeah. What obviously you've seen, you've been, we we've, we've seen you on all these platforms. You know, this morning and all these incredible places, Lorraine and so on. What's it like behind the camera? Is it the same as what we see, or is there any anything <laughs> you can share from being within the in the studio as such? Blimey. Well, apart from some of the things that people come out with, let me tell you, <laughs> Amanda Holden, she's a hoot. She's amazing. She's okay. one of the lads. But we'll leave it there. Um, every day is different. You know, you, you get some days where you just meet some incredible... I'll tell you what, through media, I've ended up in some very weird situations. Now, a good friend of mine is Gabby Roslin, and she does a, a show on BBC Radio London on Sundays. Mm-hmm. And this show is awesome, right? There's always people from the music industry, people from TV and film. There's, like, there's a chef, there's a mixologist. Everyone's in at the same time, and it's like a giant party and a giant oh, free-for-all. It. It's wicked. Because of that show, I've ended up in a West End musical. I've ended up... Singing under the boardwalk, half cut with the Backstreet Boys, um, all sorts of weird stuff. Yeah, I, I played Sir Not Appearing in Monty Python's Spam a lot because of being on that show. Hey. Yeah, because one of the producers of the show was in there, and Joe Pasquale, who's a good mate of mine as well, he was playing King Arthur at the time. And me and him were just sat just sat there, kind of reciting Monty Python sketches to one another. And the producer was like, "You've got to come and be Sir Not Appearing." And this this thing, it's, it's it become like this this cult cameo appearance like Keith Lemon did it a few nights before me and I think Denise Lewis did it the night before him and, and you, your picture's up all around the lobby tonight so not appearing is played by and you have one line and it's the point where like um, King Arthur's introducing all of all of his knights. It's like, so go ahead so better be here. they all come out and do the pose and it's and finally the aptly named Sir not appearing in this show and you walk out in a suit of armour that doesn't belong to anything else in the scene you don't belong to anything in that sketch you look at look at them on stage, look at the audience, go, sorry, and walk off. That's it. So that happened from going on one of those that. shows. Um, yeah, you, you you see some very strange things and meet some interesting people. But it's just hustle and bustle, and it's just chaos. Mm. That's the only thing I'll say. Like, you see shows like This Morning, for example. You would not believe the amount of people that are on the floor. Like, you might see just, like, Holly and Phil and the guests there, and you think it's, like, all nice and calm, a nice, calm studio like this. No. There's, like, you know, about 50 people. I mean, there's about 12 cameras. There's, like, you know, floor managers and directors and other guests waiting in the wing, like the guest agent, the guest mum. I mean, there's so many people there. It's, like, a lot of hustle and bustle and mayhem. Wow. And what's been the most sort of interesting experience you've ever had in this? Obviously, I mean, as apart from the one you've just shared, pretty, yeah. pretty interesting. What what else have you sort of experienced? Wow. I think the most, the things that are the most profound and that impact me more than ever is when there's a chance for the audience to phone in. Mm. And you're able to connect with people on that level because, you know, you're either just talking into a microphone or talking down the camera or talking to the interviewer. There's quite a disconnect from the people that might actually be hearing what it, what it is you've got to say. But when you've got that that audience participation, you can connect with that individual directly. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. That's always the best for me. I'm not really that fussed by all of the celebrity thing and stuff like that got those celebrity friends and stuff and I'm just like you can keep that life I wouldn't want that that's a sure fact like a very good friend of mine that was in Coronation Street she had like paparazzi f- following her to a, like a family funeral and stuff like that and I was like I wouldn't want that life but that yeah because I've got to meet all sorts of people through doing that that work like from Hollywood stars to you know musical royalty and stuff and it does that doesn't phase me but when you can do something and like say there's the the audience interaction or one of the amazing things I did like a week long um, block on this morning once we did a whole week called feed yourself fabulous so Monday to Friday in the kitchen each day doing food around different health themes and seeing all of the viewers cooking it at home and posting it onto the Facebook page and stuff like that Mm. um, that's incredible and that's why I sometimes love seeing a post where where someone's cooked something for something from my book like the book's open and then the dish is there people that I'll probably never ever meet and that it's actually having an impact on their lives that stuff's special that is more 
more profound and more moving and more means more than than any kind of random 